How's it going guys? This is BM from BSC Geek. <clears throat> so I just want to give you my thoughts on Transformers Rise of the Beast. Uh, just uh, some quick thoughts, not necessarily a review. So, uh, Transformers Rise of the Beast officially comes out theaters today. I saw an early screening of it last night. Really enjoyed it. I um, really like what they're doing with this reboot of the Transformers um, movie universe. Um, starting with Bumblebee, which was out what, five years ago. And I really like what they are um, doing with the uh, franchise uh, now versus what um, Michael Bay did with it because I didn't really care much for the Michael Bay uh, Transformers uh, movies. Uh, maybe except for the first and third one. But overall, I've been enjoying the uh, reboot um, for Transformers. So Rise of the Beast takes place um, after Bumblebee probably like five or six five or so years um, after the events of Bumblebee. Um, it's set in 1994 in uh, Brooklyn. So the um, Autobots are in search of this key that will help, help um, get them back to Cybertron. Along the way, they meet up with um, Noah and Elena, who are the um, main um, humans um, in the film. And they are out looking for this key, um, which uh, the um, which the Terracons are out looking for it. Also, um, the Terracons are kind of working for Unicron. Of course, Unicron is the big villain film, and so so the Terracons are out trying to stop the Autobots from getting the key. Um, then, and um, the Autobots and it will eventually, eventually meet up with the uh, Matt Smalls in the film. So it, I, it was really great to see both the Autobots and the uh, Matt Smalls together in the film. Um, so that's pretty much the um, the main plot behind Rise of the Beast, uh, which, which, without trying to get into too many spoilers, um, I thought the uh, I thought um, Stephen Capel, who did the who, who was the director for the film, did a great job with the characters, uh, especially Optimus Prime. And Optimus Primal, uh, I loved how they how he portrayed both of them. RC was fantastic. He did she um, Stephen Capel did a great job with with um, RC. It was probably the best live action RC I've seen. Uh, Bubblebee did. Well, Bumblebee was didn't do that much in the movie, but I mean, I think he was really good for um, you know what he did. Um, Mirage and Wheeljack, um, I think could have done better. They could have done better with uh, Wheeljack and Mirage. Um, also, um, Cheetor and Rhinos for the Maximals. We really didn't see them that much. I wish they could have. Uh, been done more and the more in Rise of the Beast. Um, who else? Air Razor was really good. She um, played a um, sort of sort of big part in the film. Um, the Terracons, um, I think I thought were pretty good. Um, they just didn't seem I don't know that menacing. I guess that. I guess I should say that not a mean thing to me. Um, you know, Unicron. That I mean, Unicron was pretty menacing on screen for what we saw of him. But the Terracons, I, I, I don't know. I just didn't do that much for me. Um, but um, anyway, um, so that's pretty much my thoughts. Um, so. Um, Going to the end of the film, um, there you'll see Noah will end up playing a bigger part of the Transformers film uh, going forward. Uh, you'll see that towards the end. Uh, I don't want to, again, get into spoilers and say say what happened, uh, but um, it will um, it will play a big part going forward into um, what happens next with um, the um, Transformers. Uh, there is a post mid credit scene that does play a role into uh, Rise of the Beast, so definitely stick around for that. 
And um, overall, I would give this film probably, I would say a B. If I were grading this, I would give it a B. Um, that, I mean, there's a few things I didn't really care much for, but uh, overall, I enjoyed it. Um, so, um, it's definitely worth going to see it in the uh, theaters. So, definitely go check out in the theaters if you are thinking about going to see it. Um, I would like to see this a second time. I don't know if I will go to the theaters to see it again or just wait till it comes out on streaming. But I definitely want to go see, want to see it again, see if there's anything I missed. So that is my uh, thoughts for Transformers Rise of the Beast. If you have seen it, let me know what you thought of it down in the comments. And if you like my reaction to Transformers Rise of the Beast, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please remember to subscribe. And that will be it for, for my reaction for Rise of the Beast. I will see you guys next time.